Hey guys, welcome back to Walk with CS. So, how is everyone doing? I know the situation has been very difficult to everyone around. The cases have been increasing, but still, let's stay positive and try to overcome this phase. All right. So, with this positive note, let's get into our today's video. So, if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel, please take a minute and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon for regular updates from us. So, let's get into our video. So, today's video is all about diaper rash. So what is a diaper rash? So diaper rash is a form of uh, irritation or rash that a baby gets in the diaper area. All right. So why is this caused? Uh, what are the reasons and what is the precautions that we can take to overcome this is what we would be seeing in today's video. And also I would also share my favorite diaper rash cream that I've been using on Tristan for the last one and a half year. So without any further delay, let's proceed with our video. First, let's understand what causes a diaper rash. So there are a couple of reasons that a baby gets a diaper rash. First thing to consider would be uh, wetness. When I say wetness, we tend to use diapers and nappies on the babies. And uh, when the baby pees and poops a lot, uh, there's a kind of humidity that's created inside the nappy or inside the diaper that kind of gives them a rash uh, especially with the newborn babies they tend to pee and poo poop a lot all right so uh, that can cause them irritation and especially when a baby has uh, loose motions that tends to give them diaper rash all right so and one more important factor for a diaper rash is a wrong size of the diaper or a bad quality of the diaper all right so if you buy some cheap quality diapers or uh, you know if the diaper is not suiting your baby the one whatever you've purchased might not suit your baby each baby is different so always see that uh, you buy a best quality diaper which suits your baby that is very important all right so if the be a diaper doesn't suit a baby then the baby will definitely get a rash so these are the reasons a uh, couple of most important reasons why a baby gets rash all right so what is that we can do for the baby to overcome this rash or how is that how is it possible for us to avoid these rashes completely is what we'll discuss next so as i discussed first thing to consider would be use a very good quality of diaper and if you're using a nappy at home ensure that you wash those nappies very well it is always good that you wash your nap baby's nappies and soak them in detol for a couple of minutes and then dry them completely in this way you kill all the bacteria so this is the first and foremost thing to do buy a good quality diaper and check if the diaper suits your baby. The second thing is if you're using a cloth nappy, ensure that you clean your nappies well. The next important factor to consider is, would be clean your baby's diaper area every time you change your nappy. So some just remove the diapers and you know put the new ones. They do not clean that baby's uh, diaper area. It is very important that you have to clean your baby's diaper area every time you change the nappy. You can use a warm water and a cotton cloth or you can also use some wipes and clean the area and then put on a new diaper. So what I usually do, I, I do is uh, every time I change my son's diaper, I used to apply some coconut oil to, you know, get, keep the moisture intact so that it does not feel any dryness and then I used to put him a diaper. This I used to do this during the day and during the night I used to use the rash cream. So you can also do that. So all of if you take these steps, it is it, it is very sure that we can avoid uh, diaper rash as much as possible. And the next important thing is change your baby's diaper often as possible. So do not wait for the day, uh, diaper to be full completely. You have to keep changing the baby's diaper frequently, especially for the newborn babies because they tend to pee and poop a lot. So it is very, very important that you keep changing the baby's diaper as often as possible. So the diaper cream that I used for Tristan is this one from Sebamed. So I've used, been using this diaper cream on him since day one. The first thing and foremost thing about this product that I love is it maintains the pH level in the baby skin. This maintains a pH of 5.5. All right. And this has titanium dioxide. Usually the cheaper products than this have a zinc oxide. Both tend to do the same thing but zinc oxide forms a thick layer and it's very difficult to clean wipe out the excess from the baby's skin but this can be cleaned very easily all right so this also has uh, plant derivatives in it which helps soothes baby skin and the rash very uh, very quickly so this is priced at rupees somewhere around 500 rupees i will leave the products link in the description box it comes with a flap lid like this and it has a 
thick texture like this. So all that you have to do is apply a thin layer of uh, diaper rash, rash cream on the baby's butt and then put the new fresh diaper. But ensure that you clean the baby's diaper area before you apply this cream. So this, I used to use this every night and you, during the initial few months, I used to use this for every diaper change that I did on Tristan. All right. And then once he grew up, maybe after six months, I uh, started using coconut oil on him during the day. And during the night, I used to use this cream. And even till date, I use this cream on him every night. So what this cream does is it creates a thin layer barrier between the diaper and uh, the baby skin. So this will help them prevent uh, getting diaper rash. So this is a very good cream. Uh, my recommendation, if you guys are looking for a good diaper cream for your baby, you can definitely invest in this. So this tube lasts for around two to three months. And if it is for a newborn baby, then you might have to use it will get over in a month or two because the usage will be very often. It's been one and a half years. I can hardly remember it's uh, three or four times is what he's got rashes so far. It's all because of this cream and the coconut oil that I've been using on him consistently. So ensure that you take care of your baby's hygiene. Do follow these small, small steps, changing your diapers or applying a thin moisturizing layer before you put a new diaper. And the next thing is please do give the baby a diaper free time during the day, at least uh, for 15, 20 minutes before you put on the new diaper all right so this will help if even if the baby has got a new rash this will help them you know, help the rash to heal very quickly so always give that air exposure to your baby so that they can help heal the uh, heal the rash as soon as quickly as possible so these are a couple of precautions that you can take to help your baby stay diaper rash free throughout the stage that they wear the diaper. So I hope you guys liked watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and family. I'll see you guys again in my next video. Until then, stay happy, stay positive, spread love. Take care. Bye-bye.